worked with Phyllis Nage, the writer, on a project for HBO, um, Jenny Casarotto, the agent, said, you've got to meet Phyllis, she's a great writer, playwright. Phyllis came in, pitched a couple of projects. Um, I went for one of them called Mrs. Harris, and we made that for HBO with Annette Benning and Ben Kingsley. And at the time, she talked about a project she wanted to do called Carol. So we did that, and then um, we approached two directors who were on board. Both of them had to leave because of scheduling conflicts. And then Stephen and I talked about Todd Haynes, who we've known for about 25 years. And uh, we approached Todd, um, his longtime producer, Christine Vachon, who's also a really old friend and colleague of ours, going back 25 years, sent him the script. It's a platform to really show independent cinema most independent cinema at its best and at its most challenging and interesting and it can go either way so I think all of us have been there when it hasn't gone the way you've wanted and also when it has which hopefully we'll find I mean, when the thing about Carol is it, it's a beautiful film it's absolutely gorgeous and Ed Locke and the cameraman and, and Todd Haynes have made given the look to the film it's astonishing so already the palais is perfect the giant screen mm. and Sandy Powell and the designer Sandy Powell designed the costumes and Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara look extraordinary in the film so there's already that element and the script is, a go is, 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 is it's one of the best adaptations that I've ever read and I think that was really what fueled us with this project from the very beginning was that Phyllis had written something that is so um, moving without being sentimental there's no, nothing sentimental about the story, but it is incredibly moving. And that's a very silly, ambiguous thing to say. Um, but it, it, I think it always has been. I think the expectation of showing in can has always been, um, uh, sometimes, you know, you show a film at the festival, and, and as, as Elizabeth said earlier, and it can all go terribly wrong. Um, but would it have gone terribly right if you hadn't shown it in the festival? Who knows? I remember, you know, Woman and Legend of Nervous Breakdown was never shown in Cannes. The Crying Game was never shown in Cannes. My Left Foot was never shown in Cannes. Birdman this year was never shown in Cannes. It's not as if you have to show in Cannes to be a successful film. I certainly feel like Joaquim Trier is louder than bombs and he's a wonderful director and Paolo Sorrentino. If you want to make a film that has the potential straight off to cross over and have a wider audience and to cast the caliber of cast, it is going to mean filming in the English language. Not to say, I mean, you know, you look at Lucy Vikander at the moment, one of the biggest female stars around, but she too, when was the last time you saw her perform in Swedish, you know? So I think absolutely that's a prerogative for them wanting to find that bigger audience for their voice, very much in auto verse, but I think that's the position they have to take. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting about youth is, is Michael Caine's role in the film. And we were, t we were talking to him after having seen the film with Michael, and and he said that he hadn't been to Cannes since Alfie in 1966, oh. when, which was a wonderful 49 film, 49 years, 49 years ago. ago. And Even that, before you started coming to Cannes. That was like 20 yeah, years before just. I started coming to Cannes. <laughs> it's interesting how uh, you know, some filmmakers, uh, some actors have missed out on Cannes uh, over a you know, period of their entire career. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a lot for, for him, and it's also going to be a lot, I think, that it's not a big Hollywood blockbuster like Batman. It's, it's something very personal to him. Yeah. And I think that's what, what Paolo has done with, with youth, is he's made a very, very small, in a way, personal and very, and very beautiful film about aging.